Niger. Nigerian junta refuses to see UN, AU, and ECOWAS delegations. The Nigerian junta refused to allow a diplomatic visit in Niamey by a delegation representing the United Nations, the African Union, and the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, on Tuesday, August 8, 2023 citing a risk to their security. According to Sidwaya, a letter written by the Nigerian Ministry of Foreign Affairs addressed to ECOWAS stated in part, quote, the current context of anger and revolt of the populations following the sanctions imposed by ECOWAS does not allow the reception of the said delegation and the serenity and security required." Unquote. Following the July 26th coup, ECOWAS sanctioned Niger, Nigeria cut off the electricity supplies to the nation, while Western nations have discontinued aid to Niger. On Monday, Acting U.S. Deputy Secretary of State Victoria Nuland traveled to Niamey, but was not allowed to see junta leader General Abdurrahmani Chiani or President Mohamed Bazoum. So she met with Nigerian Defense Chief Musa Salau Barmu and his deputies. According to Le Monde, Newland advised Niger not to solicit the security services of Wagner Group as its neighbors Mali and Burkina Faso have done, claiming that it would jeopardize Niger's sovereignty. According to Sputnik, Newland's unannounced visit to Niamey is uncanny given, quote, previous military takeovers and takeover attempts in the landlocked West African nation in 2021, 2010, 1999, and 1996 did not see anywhere near the same level of attention from high-ranking Western officials, unquote. In an interview with Sputnik, retired CIA intelligence officer Larry Johnson surmised, quote, I think what we're seeing is a play out of Russia's growing influence in the region. The United States and France are doing all they can to try to retain the colonial control that has been in place for close to 100 years. And Nigerians and the people of Mali and Burkina Faso are both standing up and saying, OK, we've had enough. We're no longer going to be under the thumb of the West. Luland is trying to stop that, but I don't think she can.